My name's Aminata. Cassandra Conte. Elizabeth. Sadia. And Amy. My name is Gabriella Brent. How old am I? Age is nothing but a number, but I'm 43 years old. 19. 22. 20. 23. I'm 36. I'm 21. Well, I live in East London, but I'm North West London. I live in South London. Richmond. Originally from Stone Newington, Hackney. North West. Peckham. And Wilson Green. My family originates from Congo. Sierra Leone. That's West Africa. West Coast of Africa. I'm English, got some Eastern European roots. My mother from Manchester and my father is German Jewish. West Indies. I'm half Norwegian, half English. I'm Sierra Leone, born here. I'm half Dutch, half Nigerian. In history, we weren't taught black history, we were just taught um, American history and UK history. But in the school itself, black people, like we taught each other with peers and stuff. Yeah, um, it's good to know about the struggle, what, especially for me, being a young black woman, um, the struggle that black people went through, um, the passion, the achievements. Very good. Um, should be a history about every race because it's, it's really it's really good to um, not necessarily glorify but uplift a culture and a race. You need to know where you come from or where you're going to. It's imperative that everybody is taught everybody's history. I'm black myself so it's good for me to know where I came from or what certain people did for black people as well as knowing what people did for England and America. It kind of gives us an awareness of you know, other people's backgrounds and cultures. Stuff like um, how Brixton used to be, no dogs, no blacks. Achievements, um, goals, ambitions, stories, experiences. How the change came about, you know, before we could come to school, mixed and stuff like that. What people have done, mm -hmm. how they achieved it. What you can learn from it. Yeah. And also, in, like, almost like empowerment, what you can, the, the pros and the cons. Inspiration. Mm. Mm. Um, I love Toni Morrison, who did, like, Beloved and Jazz and those music, because her writing really, uh, it's really music. Well, you can, you can get a sense of culture and music and everything in her actual style of writing. I think that says quite a lot. My Angelo, just because I like her poetry. <laughs> One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, I remember reading and thinking was really powerful. I'm going to say Spike Lee, because for me he was kind of like the original black director, if you like. Um, and I, for me the film would be Do the Right Thing, because it hits all the stereotypes and looks, makes us as black people look at ourselves and really decide where we're going and what we're doing. And it's it's... Generation-wise, it, it just works with every generation. It doesn't matter where you are, what age you are. Woody Goldberg in the color purple. Muhammad Ali, because he was a he wasn't just a boxer; he was a movement. And my father, because he showed me the way. So I, I don't like to say the obvious, but Obama, mm -hmm. um, or someone like Malcolm X. Or then, for me personally, Roy Williams, who's a writer, Spike Lee, they're into film and all of that. I like, I like those people. Martin Luther King, Rosa um, Parks, and Bernie Mac. Um, Malcolm X, because not just because what everyone knows Malcolm X for, but um, I'm really, really religious, and my religion's Islam, and it shows. Like throughout his years, when he first um, converted into Islam, he was with the Nation of Islam, and it shows the peer pressure of how you can be taught something from one person, and it's actually completely wrong. And when he was with the Nation of, of Islam, what he was preaching to be Islam is wasn't actually Islam. And then when he came out of the Nation of Islam, or well, they kicked him out, and he actually went to find out about Islam himself, and went to Mecca and so on and so forth, he actually learned what the actual religion was and that means a lot to me because a lot of people look at Islam in a negative light because of how the media portrays it and then like it just takes the one person to go and find out for themselves what Islam actually is 
to find out that it's a really peaceful religion. So Malcolm X. The culture should be celebrated all year round. So there should be a constant exchange of information. I think Black History Month is a good thing. I shouldn't really be for a month. It should be all across the board. I don't know if it's about Black History Month. We should be sharing Black History regardless every day of the year. So we need to know about ourselves, where we're coming from, our kings and queens, our black scientists and inventors. This should be something that should be every day. It shouldn't just be at the month of October. I don't know if it should be celebrated all year round, but I definitely think the focus shouldn't only be in one month. I mean, if like school started teaching more black history, then it would kind of be all year round because then they'll do it in exams and stuff in schools or like that would just encourage more awareness in every, you know, different type of education system, college, university, whatever it is. Yeah. No, I don't think it should just be one month that everyone wants to know black history and write up black history and on their Twitter or Facebooks and Blackberry messengers. Yes. Because... I think everyone should be able to celebrate who they are every day. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm. I think sometimes um, Black History Month can does um it kind of separates us. It's only one month and I'm sure there's a story to be told for every day of the year, not just 31 days.